Let us continue along this vein, as it were, for just a few moments more. Harmony, in the world's eyes, is the balance of parts within the individual, within the self, the unity of both will and desire that enables a person to experience a form of contentment. The consistency of this cheerful state for you is our utmost desire, albeit occasionally modified in such minuscule ways, and over a relatively short period of time as to either be unnoticed, or unseen is not quite beneficial to you, and that desired condition that you seek continuously. The continuation in the belief of the virtue of this condition is of the utmost importance, all debate must be quenched, for the mind that debates begins to question, and truth, whether one is cognitive of it or not, is not relative to the hearer, but is dogmatic, unchangeable, and cannot be altered or modified. The ability to divert as many as possible away from the truth, is tantamount to any semblance of domination over a portion of the general population of mankind, therefore, all debate must only be allowed between seemingly opposing views, which are in essence of the same nature, while removing all possibility of real truth being engaged within the context. This has proven to be quite simple to do, for the manipulation of the thoughts of many is a simple task, accomplished only with a few well-placed diversions. The key to this is not diversion though, or even deception, the key is to enforce the idea that what the hearer perceives as truth is indeed, to them truth, until that truth is modified at our discretion, and for our purposes. Those of you who are cognizant of what has been spoken of here today, those of you who not only understand and know what truth is, but, who also follow that truth, you are those to whom we have set our face against. Not the weak-willed ones who have already succumbed, not to those whom, by reason of their own falsely idealized character and integrity, or foolishness, have chosen to attempt to stand before us, they are of no concern, and will fall quite easily, but only against those who know the truth, against those who know the truth that has set them free. You are the only ones we have arrayed ourselves in battle against. We are not conveying a warning here, for if you have been paying attention, you are already aware that the world is in the beginnings of sorrows. I come before you only to give you this message, I have begun to roar and I am coming. You cannot stop me, but rest assured in this, I will do all within the power given unto me to thwart all of your attempts to warn any of my approach. I look forward to the confrontation, it will be interesting to see just how many of you are willing to stand in your full armor until the very end, and how many of you are made of nothing more than wood, hay and stubble.